Okay. <sighs> balance, balance, wake up. Balance, so you're right. Morning? Is he healing? Ugh. <coughs> Are you okay? Well, you got absolutely thrown. Ha! Huh. Are you okay? What just happened? Oh, I can't. Oh, my gosh. Ow. Oh, my ribs. Oh, there is no way I'm not working. He sucker punched you. What? Am I in a hole? What the? Ha? Well, you're going to be sore. Yes. I saw you fly across the sky. What even happened? Ow. <coughs> in summary, you lost. I mean, what? That guy was super rude. I literally just started flying and he hit me and I... Ow! Oh gosh, flying sucks. Okay. Is the tree okay? Did I break part of the tree? Did he, like, I got punched that far and I got punched into a hole. I literally created a hole. Got it. Okay. The tree is fine. Good. Okay. Um... We found our guy. Ugh. Well, that was quite the event. The tree is fine. You just got hit into the ground over here. Made a big boom. Uh, you, now, we just need to stop. You wouldn't be here if that tree was there. Oh, fair enough. Okay, so we just learned a lot from that incident. So, clearly, I was wrong on multiple levels. Um, I thought you guys said the core fragments couldn't exist near each other. They were literally la looked like they were basically touching. And they were all just on that guy's hand. They can't. Well, they were just all on that guy's hand. Well, uh, they, so they were. They were coexisting on whatever he was holding. That's why they hurt you like that. They're unstable. Yeah, the basics of everything were just broken. So, how would that affect if he punched one of you? Now, because doesn't that mean that you're being punched by th three? Oh, Hold on, hold on. Okay, we're going over here so I can sit down. Ow, or well, at least rest. So this guy has the power of the cores in the palm of his hand. Quite literally, not going to think about that one. Okay. Hi, Mint. Hi, Andy. Hi, other forest Steve that showed up. You kind of look like Acacia. I don't know if you're a cave mangrove, maybe, based on the wood color. Hello. Ugh. Yes, okay. Wait, did I say it? Oh, I guess you asked your name now. I'm tired. Okay. Yes, I am a mango force. Hi. Ugh. Okay. So, I'm aware that there are probably many dimensional secrets that are meant for the dimensional leaders, but we are far beyond secret time. So. What the heck was the blue fragment? I'll tell him. Oh, wow, that was easy. I mean, yeah, that blue ain't any of your colors. There was purple, and there was orange, and there was green. There were four fragments on that guy's hand, and one of them was blue. The blue one is basically a frog. Yes, and you were giving off of water particles, but the aether. Wait. Oh, wait. Yep. Wait. Hold on. The aether. As in, like, A-E-T-H-E-R, aether? Yes. What do you guys know about... What do you guys know about Aether? The one special stupid dimension. What do you mean special? What do you guys know about Aether? What do you mean dimension? I'm so confused. Aether wasn't a dimension. Aren't all the other stupid... Huh? What? I just woke up. Okay, yeah, you're in a big conversation, buddy. It's the only dimension that doesn't have a dimensional leader. So how do you guys know... I'm so confused. Why are you calling it a dimension? It's a person... The Aether doesn't have a dimensional leader. Person. It doesn't have a le Oh my gosh. There's a dimension. Oh, ho, ho, ho. So, I feel like, again, this we're, we're past secret time. Secret time's over. So, you all know the Celestials, right? How there's the theory of Death's Void and Galactal. Death kind of went cuckoo, but then it wasn't his fault. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, there wasn't always three Celestials. There was actually five. Reset, man. Yeah, by the way, Death was actually fine. There was an evil man inside that. Man. Don't worry about that. Anyways, so there was actually five Celestials a very long time ago, and two of them went completely missing off the grid. Not even, like, the other Celestials could find them again. One of them was named Cinder. Not, don't know much about her. Um, and the other one was called Aether. 
And you're saying that the Aether is the only dimensional without a leader. Of course there was. It all makes sense. So, it sounds like Aether, the Celestial, should have been the Aether dimensional leader, but he disappeared as a Celestial, so he disappeared as a dimensional leader, too. I don't know why he'd be... I mean, he's called... A Maybe he made that core. I mean, they are the Celestials. Maybe he made the Aether and then disappeared before... I don't know, he was officially a leader or something. Because he and Cinder disappeared out of trace. Like I said, Celestials couldn't find him. Still have no idea what possibly could have happened. They went looking for someone who could have maybe made the Celestials. They weren't even sure if that person existed. And they just never came back. Are we sure this isn't one big coincidence? I mean, coincidence, those don't seem to happen anymore. Well, that's just wonderful. Yet interesting. Wait, so if there's no leader, how do you... Can you guys even get to the Aether? I've not met anyone from the Aether. Is it pop? How do you... What? If there's no leader in charge, how is traveling there happening? It's complicated. It's complicated, but that guy has a piece of it. What? That doesn't... That nah, also means the Aether core might be in danger, but like, I don't think... Ra raise your hand if you can get to the Aether. Yeah, that's what I thought, okay. There is one way I think is how he got there. Oh, what was that? What What is it? Something of like he was able to combine the three other core fragments and he was able to like use their power to get there or something? This is, a, this is big information, guys. This is, this is big. This is very big. Oh my gosh. Ugh, my ribs still hurt. Somewhat like that, but then through the dimension where Indigo's look. Okay. So you're saying that the only possibility is that he went to the middle world with all three core fragments and th maybe having enough connections to dimensions because that allowed him to go there. I don't want to get to the middle world. Can you guys get to the middle world? I think in order to even try that, we would need an indigo, and I don't think we have time to get an indigo. Dying? Uh, that, yeah, let's not die. That brings, wait, hold on, I'm very confused by that whole system. When I died in this universe, I went straight to the spirit world, and you just not remember being in the middle world when you die. Because, I mean, I've, there's two, I don't know. But yeah, there's two kinds of spirit and world beyond. I know you guys, I'm not dead. I know you guys don't understand that still, but, like, there, there are two different kinds. I don't know which one this universe operates on. Of. This is a lot. We would have needed a power source from an indigo energy signature. I mean, if he was willing to steal Core's fragments, he was probably willing to do bad things to an indigo steam. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, so, he has... He's stronger than you guys. Even if all three of you work together, he has a fourth core fragment that none of you can match. Like, a power set that none of you have. And I'm assuming you guys can't even comprehend what that fragment can do, because you guys don't know their leader. Because there is no leader. You guys wouldn't know. So it's impending due. No. Correct. You beat Dash. Just go get the balances. I have a weird feeling... That blowing up the core fragment... Wait, that... If we blow up those core fragments, we're just kind of dead. So if we do the balance of fusion thing on them, the core fragments will probably get incinerated or blown up, and then we'll just die anyways. What if this guy is near a core? You beat up Death by blowing him up. But yeah, there is, a, dude, there is this large thing, and, like, when I say, like, there is an explosion, I mean the explosion was bigger than this entire tree. Like, at least three times the size of this tree. We broke Bedrock even, too. Was... Yeah. This world can't get a break. Then doing the failsafe... Yeah, the failsafe attack... All right, I explained the failsafe to you. Yeah, if we used the failsafe, we would destroy the core fragments, and then we couldn't at least start fixing the cores. So we can't just try doing that, because at that point... But I don't I don't exactly know the implications of what that has every time we use it. Like, it's it's a lot. A lot of energy. I don't know if it's healthy for any anywhere to keep doing it constantly. And again, we can't do that. We'll just break the core. We'll break the core fragments. Then we're like, what are we going to do then? We don't need to be stronger. We just need to get the gauntlet that holds the fragments off. 
can't you make a copy balance and we just copy the fragments? Well, that will still are we, those core. What happens if we break a core fragment? I just thought, what if a core fragment breaks, even if it's not on the core anymore? What would happen? The energy will be unleashed. That would not be good. So, yeah, sounds deadly. So hold him down and hope we don't get punched by it. Can we even hold the gauntlet in the first place and destroy everything around? Well, whoever that is, he's able to hold it. Okay, like he is, he's holding it right now. Please, hold on. Who made, wait, who made your dimensional weapons? He also took the frag, yeah, who took the, who made your guys' weapons? Quick question. Please don't say A forger. Is he a robot called the Great Forge? <sighs> okay, okay. Well, there we go. I'm back. No. So there is now a fourth dimensional steel weapon. What has all the core fragments? Okay, cool, cool, cool. I'm assuming it was made by the Great Forge too, then. This is the second weapon that guy's made. He made Voided One Scythe. He fixed it for... I'm gonna have to talk to this man. Oh, crap. Where are my bullets? Oh, gosh. Oh, I left them in. I gave them to the others. Oh, my gosh. I'm an idiot. Okay. Well, I need to go back to the village and get those back. Anyways, the Great Forge is not a bad guy. I just have a weird feeling when someone asks him to make a weapon, he doesn't ask questions, and he just kind of makes it. Oh, my gosh. High-end. Hi. Okay. So, plan, 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 plan. Ribs. Oh my gosh. And a B. I like the sound of that. I need to pay them a visit. A tad bit idiotic. Oh, okay. Well, he is very old. Apparently, he is as old as the Celestials. He's one of those guys, like Judger and such. He's like in that grouping, I guess. I don't know. Sub Celestials? I don't know. He's with them. Anyways, plan. Um. Oh, yeah. He's old. In a he's a lot of robots actually. He used to be a giant, and that's not important. Okay. Um. Okay, idea. Um, dimensional leaders, how about you guys go and you guys try and figure out how to fix this? Like, look at your cores and stuff. I don't know. Like, look at cores. Um, and then leave your kids here. Now, what? Whoa. Okay, that just sounds like babies. Mm, I don't know how, how old are you guys? You guys act old ish. Actually, you act around my age. Are you leaving me to babysit all of them? I mean, no, Mother Nature, you're going back up there. I'm gonna have them down here. So you just go to the, yes. We do not need babysitting. I mean, I, mm, yeah, over Ah, I'm stung, I say, okay. Yes, you do. Wow. Why would we need to be babysat in the first place? No, 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 man. No, I was saying, it would sounded like I was saying that I'm not. I'm, I, I called you guys kids because you guys are literally their kids. That doesn't make you actual kids. I'm pretty sure you all are adults. So I, it's hard to tell. Sure. Digging a hole. Yeah, you guys go. Dimensional leaders go. Go. Go check your cores. Go. Have fun. Nolus and Andrews don't. Don't. Oh, oh, hey. Don't take my Ender Brain. Ender, Andy, you're staying with me now. There you go. Okay. You guys, I don't know. Oh, man. Forest and Minter gone. Oh, no. Wait. Okay, just mint. Okay. What just happened to that? Oh, that was weird. I'm confused. Oh, I really thought that had nothing to do with the core. Anyways, ill. And B. Trippy. Oh, so you saw that too. I'm not going insane. Okay. Uh, I think I'm leaving for my safe. Forest, go. Well, go uh, uh, just don't talk about it. Maybe tell the forest needs to, like, prepare and stuff. Bye, forest. Okay, so it's just us now. Us, us six. Uh, uh, us seven. I accidentally took a bit of the ground, but... So... Yeah, yeah, guys, I'm not I'm not babysitting. It just kind of sounded that way because of how I worded it. But you guys are not being babysat. We're working together. Okay. Um... So, yeah, I, you better not be. I... Yeah, no. I'm... We're wait... Now I guess we just wait for over Nether and End to get here. No. Yeah, no, yeah, don't worry. Um... We're waiting on them, I guess. Oh, boy, see, I'm... Uh, you guys, have you, have you free med and stuff? I mean, I know Ember and my daughter nature, you guys definitely have it. 
we have now. Get this gross bug away. Come here, Andy. Stop blowing. Hope you have a... Why do you have a core? Ah, I guess you did go to the end. I'm sure that you guys have better relations. Hey, be nice. Um... And... And Stone, how are you doing, buddy? You're kind of like me in this situation. Kind of like... A like... In a situation that was dragged into kind of... I'm going to slice it in half if it comes over. Andy, come here. Gosh, this better not turn to arguing. Oop. Okay, I guess. Okay, balancers, anytime, guys. I don't know if talking to them helps. Is I? Do you guys know? Apparently, it's like as long as they're actually. Oh wow, that. Was great. Yeah, apparently, if they're in this universe or if he's like paying attention, you can just yell for the lack of a point and just show them. Like without lighting, I'm trying to evoke them. Just yell their names and they just kind of appear. Sounds cool, yeah, guys. There's another. On his way, then. Okay, so. I mean, okay, we well, yeah, no, we're talking about the name would have been other than me, you meant. First end. Please don't tell me teleportation is the right name. I don't like this, guys. Okay, guys, maybe try helping them out a little bit. Okay, let's try this. Okay, you guys, where's end? Oh gosh. Okay, I'm gonna try. Oh, there we go. Get one hit. Get the smell. I don't think that the, I don't think the fact that teleportation's acting funny is a good sign. And well, that was entertaining. Nope. Yeah, that's bad. This is very bad. Okay. You okay? Okay. Oh my gosh. Okay. Nether. End. Hi guys. Okay. So I'm gonna sum this up really quickly. If you turn around, you see the Overworld Core. By the way, it's a massive tree. Like, just look up. Yeah, it's huge. I know. Whoa. Yeah, it's huge. Nether, you can, I know you're going to be very scientifically interested, but I have a lot to explain. Over, I'm sure, gave you a very quick version. I'm going to give you a slightly more explanation. Okay, so. Core's dying. Figured you guys can help because you guys have attachments, and apparently you all started having headaches, which means you guys are obviously connected, so that helps. Um, okay, come here. Um, this is Endrian. This is Endris's son. This is Ember, Nolus' daughter, and this is Daughter Nature, Mother Nature. Well, you already met her, so yeah. Why, hello. Yeah, so, um, Ember... Well, I guess all of you, because these guys weren't actually here. Hi. So, these are my my friends, Nether Balance, End Balance, and you guys already met over. Nice to meet you. Pleasure to meet you all. Interesting. Okay, so... Oh, and that that's Endy. Um, I, I guess he got created or traveled with a teleportation. Ooh. I've never seen the two before. Yeah, no, these guys are new. That was a beat. Oh, this is Genesis. This is Genesis, Steve, by the way. Another of you helped out during the war against the Void and such. This is an... I'm, um, I don't know who met Enstone. I think you called it. I saw you, like, once or twice. Oh, so you did see her. Okay, so she has been around. I'm, I don't really care. Yeah, Nether, they all kind of act like they're... They kind of all act like their parents. Nether, I'm kind of babysitting them and, like, acting like I'm not, okay? I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> Heh, I'm toying with you. Whoa, uh, okay. Uh, yes, what's up? No! Okay, look, listen. Do you have a face? What? I'm so confused. Okay, so... The main dimensional leaders... Aren't he? Well, they, they're checking on the course. Okay, so it's us, some ba it's some balancers, and Stone Steve, Genesis Steve, and the dimen what? The dimensional kids, dimensional kids, dimensional leaders, kids. What do you guys call yourselves? You guys, you got dimensional young younglings. Apprent, yeah, that's a good term. The, the the dimensional apprentices. That's that's a good way to say this. Okay, there we go. So, dimensionalings. That's 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 mouthful. The Dimensional Offsprings. Okay, that is very formal and somehow makes me feel weird. I prefer the latter. You made them sound like babies, Val. Now, that, that was a, that was an accident. That was an accident. They're fine. Okay, listen. Does anyone have an idea? Like, at all. Kuza, I'm lost. I don't know what to do. Uh... Nope. Ha! No. Like, what do we do? I may have an idea. Oops. Excuse me, what? 